Hey guys, welcome back. This is Doug from MerchMetrics.com and in this video we're going to actually start designing and create maybe our first product. So, I've gone ahead and I've done a little bit more research. I found a few different designs and I can see that a lot of these designs based on the carabiner are pretty cool and are in the top selling designs. So I went ahead and, and found a couple more that I liked and then I also went to Google. I just did a quick search for carabiners I wanted to see um, some unique or cool looking different carabiner designs. Um, I'm not a rock climber, I just say that right now. I am not a rock climber, so I, um, I don't know what these are specifically used for other than that they go around ropes. So uh, I'll just go ahead and, and move on. I can see that a lot of these different designs are requiring that I at least have a carabiner image to start with and then I can go add certain things like this one they put illustrations along the inside on this one uh, it looks really hand-drawn maybe it is maybe it's not I, I don't know um, this one is definitely a vector image which is what we're gonna create uh, and then you could see um, I could take that vector image of a carabiner and then I have the ability to just add something onto it I could use it over and over again to create many different versions of, of this design uh, using the carabiner as a base I could spin it around I could put pictures inside of it I could do lots of different things so um, let's go ahead and go into uh, Google really quick I'll just show you I did that quick search I found a couple I just snipped some of these as well and then we're gonna pull them into Illustrator and we're gonna see if we can create um, you know some cool designs or at least get ourselves a carabiner to start with this process can be used for any picture. It's not like you, you can only do it with um, like solid objects. Um, it, it, it does help if you have a white background, um, but you can usually find most product or most, most items uh, on the internet. There's some picture somewhere. Now we're gonna be creating our own, um, our own image from this. We're not gonna be using the illustration or the uh, photograph that we find directly. So we're gonna be creating uh, a derivative uh, you know, a custom artwork based on these products, not using these products directly, um, which is something I've seen promoted in some YouTube videos where you just find, excuse me, you find photographs that are labeled for reuse or reuse with modification, and then you just simply use other people's work. That's not what I'm talking about here. Um, so as you can see, I have five or six different images. Um, I use Adobe Illustrator to do my designs. Uh, it's just what I decided to learn when I started doing design. I decided I wanted to learn a tool that was going to be an industry standard tool, something that like if I was building a skill, I would also have that skill to fall back on if I wanted to use it for other things, uh, or if I even wanted to do design for other people, I would at least have that. So opening up Adobe Illustrator, you can see I can create a new document, which I'll go ahead and do. I started with Merch by Amazon. I got into other platforms afterwards. So because of that, I usually design in 4,500 by 5,400, oops, not inches in pixels, because those are the requirements for uploading to Merch by Amazon. But when you're creating vector images, it doesn't matter what size you use because you can scale them to any size and it doesn't matter. You don't lose any of the quality. Um, so now we need to place some images here and we'll start. I'll show you a couple different ways we can go about creating um, creating our own vector graphics from these source images. So I'm not going to be creating vector graphics from the um, from the other illustrations from the other people who have des done, done designs. I'm not looking to copy. I'm looking to create something of my own and I just want to create a similar design, something that um, that might appeal to the people who are already purchasing those products. So now that we're in here, we can go back, find my images, pick one. Uh, this one, actually, this one's really cool. So we'll copy that. And go back here and paste it. Let's see, that might not work. So we'll go ahead and then save. Doesn't look like I can copy into Illustrator, um, but I could place the image. So I'm going to put this on my desktop, call it Carabiner. And then we'll go to File and Place. There it is. I just drag it out to whatever size I want. 
the bigger the better in this case. I do kind of want to trim it. So let's see. Um, what would be the best way to do that? Tell you what. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I could re-snip it so I didn't have this black border, but the black border is going to be really easy to get rid of. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, let's go to window and we're looking for the trace image trace and from there we click our image and we have some presets here we wanted to select uh, what we want as far as the trace we can do uh, black and white logo and we can see the preview that's what it'll look like actually looks pretty cool uh, we can go three color and see what that looks like uh, so that's cool too uh, gives us a little bit more color we could go back and change this brown to whatever we wanted later uh, we could go uh, grayscale and let it redo it and that that looks more like a an actual photograph and again this is someone's copyrighted material or, or I guess um, their actual product so we don't necessarily want to do that um, I thought the let's see let's look what the outlines look like outlines are kinda cool um, I think probably we'll look we'll go we'll go back we'll check a different a couple different ones we'll check shades of gray that looks very similar to the black and white one let's see what sketched art looks like sketched art actually looks pretty cool uh, we're gonna go in we're gonna modify this we're gonna make it our own uh, but I think that looks pretty cool so we'll go ahead and turn off preview and then just click trace All right, and now we should have our image. Uh, so we'll go to Object, Expand, and now we have a vector image that we can actually play with. Uh, it's currently grouped, so we want to right click and ungroup. And what I'm really looking for here, I'm going to go to ungroup again is to separate it so that I can delete out this border which it looks like I now can I want to delete out these and now I want to zoom in and just left click and slide your mouse right to zoom in I want to remove the branding I want to remove the um, the text because that's not really um, my brand it's not my product so I don't want to have all this stuff that isn't related to to me oh uh, control Z just gonna bring that back so you can see here that this is all one piece this uh, the D and the M are actually included with this larger black that actually is part of the whole image so in order to get rid of that we're gonna have to actually split that out so let's go find another tool oh I think we'll go um, we want our scissors Let's see oops and we want to go between there and there Let's see what happens if we do that there we go uh, so I cut out the black piece that was crossing um, where the M and the D were um, were connected to the rest of the black image. I clicked two anchor points, one on either side. You can see that it's actually still there. Uh, but what it did was it ended up filling the whole piece with black. So that actually looks pretty cool. And now we can take this. I want to regroup it. I don't want it to... Uh, to, I want all the pieces to move together um, and then at this point we can kind of do whatever we need to with it to make our design look cool so um, we had an example where someone put um, some mountains coming out of it we could do something similar to that we could use a tree and again I can do 
the same exact process. I can find a picture of a tree. I can find, um, you know, a picture of a mountain. I can trace it. Uh, this is one way I, I could do it. Uh, let me show you quickly. I'll show you a second way that we can create our own image using the pen tool. 